Okay. We're coming in close, y'all. Mm -hmm. Seven hey, more. All right. All right. We can't lose any more soul, though. Yeah. Uh, okay, take me to the abandoned village. So, because I went to the <gasps> info board. A pet contest? Oh, this is both hype, actually. They're both hype. Let's, okay, we'll go to the pet contest. Let's be no, real. We don't have no, to. No, but we chose, we chose the abandoned village. I mean, both of them have hype up, though. And that's what we're going to pick, probably. <laughs> actually, well, let's see. Or mind up. Or magic up. Is that what that is? That's um, mine, uh, stamina. Let, let's go. Let's still go to the abandoned village. Yeah. That was so cool. Can we go to space, Polly? Maybe next road trip. <gasps> oh, monster <clears throat> space shuttle. Monsters, Monsters in space. space. Monster oh space station. There we go. There is nobody. Uh, wow, there is nobody here. You've been wandering this village for a bit and haven't met another living soul. You know what? Monster Might space program. Oh, uh, monster space program. Oh my Love gosh. it. What could have happened to all the inhabitants? All their stuff is still here. Hmm. We well, suppose the first order of business is to. Okay. Uh, investigate what happened. Go wild or pillage what you can. We're going wild. We're going wild. We're going wild. We're going wild. Who cares what the population went? It's an empty village. You can go hog wild. Yuck. <laughs> oh, oh she's don't great. go hog wild. I'm trying to investigate what happened to the missing villagers, and all I really, I really don't need you guys tampering with any crime scenes. They're basically like um, <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Mm -hmm. Oh, Joy. Poor, poor Joy. Will there ever come a day that you're not such a wet blanket? I am not a wet blanket. I can have fun. I'm just busy right now. Hey. Uh, so busy that you can't ride bikes around the industrial plant with us? Classic. Or sneak into an R-rated movie without buying a ticket? <laughs> or raid an abandoned ice cream truck and eat so many blue raspberry popsicles your pee is blue for a week? That's gross. That's your idea of fun? Are you, are you eight years old? Later! Whatever. More fun for us! Yeah. Hey, stop egging cop cars, you, you guys. I understand the sentence, but I need to concentrate on my investigation. Seriously, Polly, you're just going to write Joy sucks in the egg yolk? Real <laughs> you know, if there is an evil villain here making populations vanish, I might be the only witch powerful enough to stop it. You're being really rude preventing me from. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I knocked out Joy with my hand. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was supposed to catch it with her hands, not her forehead. <laughs> oh, well, she was being silly anyway. But I'm bored now, Zoe. Got any suggestions for what we can do with this empty town? Okay. You're in a village alone, which is quite close to home alone. <gasps> Fill the village with wacky booby traps oh so hijinks will ensue when the villagers get back. Run for mayor. You actually have a chance of winning now. Um, running that for mayor costs a lot of money, I think. Uh, that yeah. would either be money or stamina, because I'm betting Ooh. it might be literally running. Yeah. Oh! Um, or... Wacky booby traps. That's probably mind? Maybe. Yeah. Because you're doing something clever? Yeah, maybe. Or what was the other one that was, like, really stress-inducing? That, that was mine, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, run for mayor. I think let's do the run for mayor. Okay. Let's do it. Hey, great idea. It'll be fun to be mayor. It's like being the sports captain of the whole city. Um, I'm pretty sure Zoe wants me to be the mayor, silly. I'd legalize every drug and most forms of vandalism. <laughs> Does that mean you're gonna run against me? I, I don't mind some friendly competition. It's oh, it's on. I'm sure I could get Zoe to vote for me. A vote for Polly's a vote for this booty. Mm -hmm. Well, a vote for Scott is a vote for Scott. And a vote for Scott <laughs> will make me really happy. <laughs> Polly and Scott spent three money putting That's together the campaigns and slogan advertisements, rallies the works. Okay, we need money now. We might need, yeah, get It's a little much more since you're the only impartial voter, but whatever floats their election parade votes. When election time comes about two hours later, you have Joy count the pallets to make sure it's fair. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are making me count ballots with a concussion. Anyway, Scott gets one vote, Polly got two. Congrats, Polly. Yes! Yes! I knew Zoe would vote for me! You're a peach, babe! Actually, I voted for Scott. I've always wanted to see a dog mayor in person. Dog mayor! <laughs> Wait! But that means, Scott, did you vote for me? Why didn't you vote for yourself? <laughs> because you wanted to be mayor, and I thought it would make you happy. I'm just glad to be included. Thanks, Scotty. Aw, that's mayor. so sweet. You know what, buddy? You can be mayor. You deserve it. Hooray! My first act as mayor is declaring everyone mayor. Let's share the love. <laughs> Does that include me? If so, my decree as co-mayor is to make it illegal for you guys to interfere with my investigation. So, skedaddle. Okay, I agree with that, sadly, but you're still gaining three hype for winning the election, and now you can Ooh, add we're close. Yeah. previous we're close. previous careers. Sweet. So let's not lose any money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, gas station will get us magic. Oh, it'll get, oh, it'll get, us, get money us money. Too. Yeah, yeah. We do Ooh, need it will get us money. And then what is giant this one? potato. Stamina mine and stamina. Mine. We should get that money. Let's get that money. Yeah. Man, it'd be crazy if something randomly happened right now. Scott, fuck, 
Turn the radio on. Convenient exposition to start already. We can't miss it. I wish I hadn't Roger. Roger. Voice. Mr. Thompson, you were telling us about hype again? Yes, let me repeat. Anything that makes you rejoice to your car or gets you hopped up. That includes laughing out loud, doing thrill seeking stuff, or going to town, if you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> I like keeping my hype strong and vigorous. That's why I avoid all the stuff that will lower my hype. Okay. <laughs> like doing boring stuff, mingling with dirt or annoying people, or choosing mundane solutions of an epic rant. So they're giving us war this warning before this, so we might be losing hype here. Yeah. Amen. Speaking of boring stuff, you know what else is boring? Being a good person. Wow. But sometimes you need to be if you want to keep your soul up. Oh, yeah. Why do we need to have Sarah turn it off? B3. And this Sarah is quite easy to manage. Doing good things, Sarah up. Doing our worst self, Sarah down. So remember, kids, don't underestimate the power of helping strangers while you're on the road. You got to keep your soul healthy and clean. Amazing. Simply amazing. Your tips have been extremely helpful and incredibly uh, uh, expositive. Expositive? Expositive. Ex yeah. Uh, you provided a great tutorial for anyone who aims to be on a successful road trip. Cormac Hiss Thompson, Hunter McCarthy, everyone. Applause. <laughs> uh, whoa, Polly. I think I've grown as a person. Yeah, Cormac Hiss Thompson and Hunter McCarthy are part of the family from now on. Those flipping a names. toast to convenient exposition. Hooray! Flipping so names, really. hopefully the money thing doesn't have a boring. Yeah. Well, it'll have two yeah, options, true. right? Mm. <clears throat> oh, just. Oh, gas station overpriced, full of pollutants, and their dirty bathroom scene invented new diseases every day. <laughs> but they're necessary if you want to make your car move. Welcome to the road trip life. So what do you do? Okay. okay so that'll gain us soul. That will gain us money. Yeah. So this will actually gain us money to go to the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think we just go for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need money, yeah. You grab some snacks and you're waiting in line to pay it, then suddenly there's a commotion at the register. Freeze, says the guy with the black hoodie. Put all the money in the bag. I've got a gun. I'm not afraid to fucking use it. Don't give him any money. Your guns don't scare us, petty thief. Shoot us and we don't care. You love to take a vote if, uh, you love to take a vote on if it's a group to care or not about being shot. But suddenly the store doors are thrown open. Someone starts slow clapping. <laughs> What do oh, we have hello. here? Evil at work in this humble gas station? What a glorious day for the dark side this is. What badass arousing forms of torture are you gonna do to that puny cashier? Erotic chest boxing? Competitive pube wax? Wet t-shirt contest to the death? Uh, I was just gonna steal all his money, the robber says. Money? You dare engage in the noble pursuit of evil for something as petty as cash? I shun your money. Dimitri dramatically throws a bag of money on the floor. Dollar bills <laughs> go flying. Nice, you got three money. Nice. Dimitri, bro, relax. Every villain's got to start somewhere. Think of all. Uh, think of this as his first e evil squat thrust of a million evil th <laughs> squat thrusts. That's hard to announce here. <laughs> He just needs some guidance from a superior villain, like only rob the sperm bank after midnight when the hot night guard is on duty. Oh gosh! Or <laughs> always bring an extra box of condoms to the sperm bank when the hot night guard is on oh duty. Oh gosh! <laughs> I am unsure if that's the sort of advice he needs. But you do have a point, Morty. The dark side will be inherited by the next generation of villains, so we must ensure they're competent. Ash, is that you? You're known for giving good advice. Please shepherd this evil recruit into a truly villainous venture. Uh, you and do pretty fucked up shit on the regular, so maybe it's not weird that Dimitri trusts your word on it. You advise. All right, we cannot lose any more soul. Uh, so stealing someone else's spotlight might lose soul. Um, steal personal data, though. Cash will stop and currency the hot new thing. Steal I think stealing someone's spotlight is hype. Yeah. You think but we, we would, would lose hype for that? Lose hype. Okay. I would rather lose hype than any more soul. No, we don't want to lose hype. We don't want to lose hype. Uh, cash will stop being accepted currency soon. The hot new thing is big data. Steal um, people's, people's pers personal data. Mind? So I might lose mind or soul for that. And I, I think that's at soul. the moment, I think I'm okay with both of that. Okay. Let's go for it. Well, that might be boring, though. Mm. Oh, you're right. Steal someone's spotlight, I think, is probably soul. <laughs> This right. might be I feel like that's hype, though. Steal someone else's spotlight. That we wouldn't yeah. lose hype for that. I feel like, though. Gosh. I feel like we would lose soul. And the, so the big data you think is boring. So that'll lose hype. This might. I lose get. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I get yeah. what you're saying. 
So I'm gonna choose it. This ain't boring. You're not wrong. In social media culture, attention is basically currency. It's true. And if you're going to steal anyone's spotlight, Evil Apprentice, I know just whose you should steal. Ashes! <gasps> true! Ashes spotlight is so strong. Talking to him makes me feel like a minor character oh, yeah, in his is. own world. Freaky shit. Fine by me, says the robber. Ash, give me your fucking spotlight or I'll shoot you in the head. Hey, Ash, it's a funny story. Now that your spotlight has been stolen, it's not my job to narrate anymore. <laughs> 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 now I want to be narrating Robbie the Robber's life. Contra contract stipulations, you get it. Toodles. <laughs> wow, okay. I guess Ash is out. Hey, Robbie, welcome to being my new friend. That sounds great. I love making new friends. And I have no uh, no object performance. Permanence. permanence. Oh, no object permanence. So this is all cool with me. Want to get ice cream with us, bro? Sure. Robbie happily joins his new friends and fits in the dynamic very well. Polly Scott and Robbie have several wacky adventures together. The friendship's stronger than yours ever was. Aww. After the trio plays yet another awesome prank, Robbie excuses himself to use the bathroom. What? You did it, buddy, he says to himself. You're not a social outcast Aww. anymore. You can end your life of crime and start anew. Suddenly the door slams open. It's Ash! <laughs> Why that barely irrelevant NPC here to ambush our beloved Robbie? <laughs> no, please don't steal my spotlight, Robbie begs. I'm finally happy. I'll turn over a new lift. I'll do anything. No dice. Robbie's irrelevant once more. Just like Ash to steal a man's spotlight while his pants are down. <laughs> oh, hey, Ash. Where have you been? I'm loving the protagonist energy that you're rocking right now. <laughs> Where'd Robbie go? He was going to help us pour confetti all over the highway. Robbie's favorite part of pranking is always the confetti. <laughs> eh, who cares? But for some reason, Robbie barely registers as a blip in my memory now. You guys want to get back on the road? Yeah, you're back, baby. Sadly, you'll never uh, recover. Yep. We lost hype. Yep. That's the worst. That's the worst. That's the only thing we want to increase. That's <clears> nice. <throat> that was hard because what we were doing is we were giving them advice. Yeah. So oh, we okay. were telling them to I take that from minutes. us. Okay. Egg, what uh, were you Oh, I'm going back to Polly. Okay. I want a date. I Jazz. Um, I guess let's go back to the car. Okay. Let's choose wisely. Zoe. Um... Part of me wants to go to the noodle stand and we can get rid of our money to get mm -hmm. something. You yeah. Can, but we, there might not be a hype option. So I want to go to the bus stop. Let's see what that's all about. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm ready for a nap. Uh, then I might go here. <clears throat> no beds here. Oh, me first. It always oh, starts with this, I think. Howdy. Home. Still got those pesky swirly possessions, huh? Why not trade them uh, with me for some weird crap I've got? Nothing matters anyway. <laughs> okay. <gasps> So we've oh got God. the dungeon, the dragon heart romance novel. Oh my God. <laughs> um, okay, so we could trade the money. That's got to be money, right? It yeah. was the bottom was money. The bottom one was well, money. That, yeah. that was, was the second money. one that we got money on, right? Yeah. 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 And we've got uh, stamina should be the Scott snack. Well, snacks. Maybe honestly. a gold. Maybe a gold bank card is actually a, a hype thing. Maybe it's, there's maybe it's two different kinds of money. It's true. Snacks though is definitely stamina. That's we definitely have stamina. stamina. So okay. let's, let's trade the stamina for. Okay, what do we got? Okay. So gummy Pure bears is stamina. Mm -hmm. Evil gummy bears, that's definitely stamina. Ashes of a man whose dying wish was to be given to a random road tripper. That's that probably soul. soul. Or that might be a random event, honestly. Maybe. Um, and then what's uh, horse, horse costume, costume butt only? <laughs> that, that feels like hype. That feels hypey. Pure, Pure horse, horse power. power. That's, also that's, that's, magic. that's stamina. That's got to be magic. Oh, or so? magic. Yeah, that's yeah. magic. Okay. We're thinking butt? Yeah. yeah. I think that's hype. It's got to be, right? What else is it? Ooh, we're at 20. Yep. Hype nice. up. Yes. We did it. Nice choice. I actually got that out of your 12th birthday party. <laughs> you what? Tee hee. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> Tee -hee. Uh, um, so we'll lose one of our. I think. I think we should still do it. Risky? risky? Yeah, risky. let's risk it. Yeah. Heck yeah. Risk it for the biscuit. Nice. We're back to where we were. Yeah. Polly. Guys, oh, Polly. Her toilet her, wine. I have her toilet wine. Of course. I have to. Of course. No toilet it's wine. It's definitely toilet wine. It's always toilet wine with Emma. Ah, yes, my precious toilet wine. I remember when I first saw a video online on how to brew toilet wine. I was all like, you can make your own booze? I was game. Hmm. I've worked on my recipe for a long time now. It combines all the things I like. Understanding chemistry, sort of. Cooking, getting drunk. Wine making does sound like a good match for you. I've iterated so much on my recipe, according to my clientele, the product has gone through great evolutions. From non-edible to hideous, then to terrible. I still remember the day I started to get comments like, this is fucking weird tasting. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Definitely better than non-edible, hideous, or terrible. Yes. Yes. Today I said proudly over an average of, uh, I don't know. I guess it could be worse. <laughs> the sky's the limit, baby. <laughs> I will get there. One day you'll see Paul's to Polly's toilet wine paired with delicious with delicacies served by expert sommeliers in the highest end restaurants all over the world. Pretty nice. I'll toast to that. Want to know a secret? These days I don't even make my wine in the toilet anymore. Whoa! I started making it in the bath. It makes more sense. Really, the wine ends up tasting better than when brewed in the toilet. <coughs> At first, I wondered if it wasn't betraying the essence of the brand. But this way, I can even take baths in the wine myself. It's fucking relaxing. I just hope people don't mind. Gamer wine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people would be cool about it. Gamer wine. Fingers crossed. In any case, thanks for listening, Boo. Let me treat you to a glass of my delicious toilet wine sometime. Naughty. You may pick some note, pick up notes of some Polly's booty while savoring it. I like it. I wouldn't mind. Oh, I'm blushing. Cute. All right, this is the bus stop. What do we do here? Uh, you can either check for hitchhikers or pick up or have conversation with someone and only already riding with you. Oh. Huh. Oh, conversation or chill, narrative treat with no choices to be made. Right. Mm. Hold enough conversation with the same hitchhiker you might ever score oh, a date Oh, okay, so this ending. is the other way to have oh, a date ending. Okay. Just each time someone has a conversation with a hitchhiker, their passive effect is triggered. Oh. As you play, you learn what each character passive effect does. Exciting. Okay. Cool. Okay. You can only have one at a time. They will leave into the dark. Okay. All right. Cool. <gasps> Moss oh, or Vera? Oh, cute. All right. What's the conversation Ooh. effect? For one week, you'll gain plus one money and lose one soul. Okay. Ooh. For one week? One of a random resource and lose another of a random resource. Ooh. Um, we don't... Let's go random. Let's do it. Okay. Bring, bring Moss along. You invite Moss Man to join your road trip. <laughs> I'd love to join you. Thanks, Zoe. It takes two to go I have, sip. Oh, that's a very different voice than I was doing. I have so much gossip to catch you up on. You won't believe who Martha Manticore is dating this week. Okay. Well, that's it. Oh, I wanted more. Okay. So which stats do we get? Oh, we're so close. Four to go. And I guess I wonder maybe if we it's get when to it's your turn, we'll get those random stats. Maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. yeah. Week three. Perfect. Those so I'm up first. Gotta get that height. Mmm. Charming village. Oh, that's that's, that's lose height, height. Down. Yeah. I'm avoiding that. We'll lose money and soul there. We could what's we could our next money. highest? Money is our Yeah, we can lose money. Yeah. Low budget reptile show. <laughs> that would also give us magic <clears throat> and uh yeah, but yeah. But money's our second highest, so yeah. if and we're if gonna we lose, lose anything. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's smart. Uh, I'm in love with that street light. You say that about every street light. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Moss Man. <clears throat> I love Moss Man. Moss Man. Ah. Do, 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 do. This idyllic little village is filled with flowers, maples, and celebrations galore, which means there's got to be something weird going on, right? Nobody's this happy all the time. Mm. Can go wrong. Eh, maybe they're just paranoid. There's a chance to have fun. What do you do first? Is this vision? Um, um, the locals, join the local celebration, or visit the lady shady landmark. So I think we're going to visit the local yeah. celebration. Mm -hmm. You go to the town square. The town folks are dressed in white, wearing flower crowns, dancing barefoot around a maple. Uh oh, midsummer stuff. Where there's flower crowns and maples, there's usually shrooms. Mm -hmm. The girl's gonna go find some. Don't do anything silly while I'm gone. Bro! Is that a puppet show over there? I love puppets. Come on, Ash. We need to say hi to the puppets. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love Scott. Scott enthusiastically leads you to a puppet show meant for an audience of seven nine year olds. Yep. Yep. Hi, kids. I'm Obi the Obedient, says oh, the main gosh. puppet. I love obeying the commands of Graham. Craft Craftimet. Craftimet, the fishless. Fl the fleshless. <laughs> fleshless overlord. He's the coolest god around. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm Scooter the Skinless, says the puppet that should never be shown to children. It's so fun to sacrifice my skin to Lord Craftimet. He gives me all the candy for it. Really? I sure do love candy, says Obi the Obedient. If I skin myself for Lord Craftimet, maybe I'll get candy, too. Of course you will, Obi. All of you. We'll get candy if you skin yourselves. Woohoo, free candy! Anyone got a silver knife? Nothing else works on my strong werewolf skin. <laughs> Scott knows all of your very cognitive er, cogent. cogent arguments for why he shouldn't skin himself alive. <gasps> the puppets told me we'd get candy, Ash. I trust the puppets. Don't you know it's illegal for puppets to lie? <laughs> yeah, okay, logic isn't gonna work here. If Scott will only listen to puppets, then you'll have to give him one hell of a puppet show. Ooh. What puppet show do you improvise to literally save Scott's skin? 
Uh, oh my ouch. gosh. Okay. So, skin, the cool body part that stops high fives from being horribly painful, or the, uh, <laughs> the puppet that hit propaganda. A story about not making important life choices just because a puppet show told you. I feel like we're going to lose money, but we might get you hype for that one. I think hype is coming from the cool skateboard. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to do that. Yeah. You spend three money making puppets on your set. Your show begins with the puppet best friends Radical Zach and Tubular Tom hanging out in the skate park. Nice. Zach, what's up, broski? Says Tom. What totally brotastic adventure are we going on today, my dude? Right. Wow, I really identify with Tubular Tom. Saw Tom, I've got the coolest, hippest, trending just activity for us to do as bros. We're going to remove our own skin. Sounds radical. Bro skin removal before no skin removal. Let's high five on it. Awesome, bro. Woohoo, two puppet bros high fiving. What could be more plus three hype than this? <laughs> well, bro, we just, we both just skinned each other. Now we can be skinless bros together and freak out all the flesh people. Let's high five on it. Ow, oh, that totally hurt. Who knew high fiving without our skin would hurt so much? But then Obi the obedient steals the stage. That may be true, kids, he said, but you know what's the best devotee the Grafman says? No pain, no gain. Oh, <laughs> really? Coach says that too. I'm sold. Let's skin me. But being skin... Oh, oh. sorry. But being skinless is not awesome. And you should never join a cult just because a puppet told you to. Bros before... Cults. Cult. Sorry, Tom, I only listened to a vice that rhymes. Here I go. <laughs> You're helpless to watch Scott peel himself like a banana. Yikes. Well, I couldn't find any shrooms. Silliest Midsummer Festival any ever. What did you guys do? Hello. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh. Where do I get my candy? <gasps> wow, Scott, you look different. Did you do something with your new hit with your hair? Nope, I skin myself. It's nice. I feel so naked -y. <laughs> Well, I like it. I'm glad you're more comfortable in your skin now. Oops, pardon the expression. High five. <laughs> Ow! That skinless high five hurt so bad. Why did nobody oh want that would happen? <laughs> oh, Scott, you goober. At least he cheers when he gets to ride in the wee, wee woo wagon <laughs> on the way to the hospital to get his skin reattached. <laughs> wee woo wagon. Wee -woo -wagon. Incredible. Oh, we, we only need one, one more ride. ride. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, what do we got? What are my options? Hype! Movie set, and then what's the other one? Workers Soul. Assemble. All right, let's go to the movie set. But who was phone? Oh, whoa, Moss. That story what, sure was creepy. Was that what I said? Mm -hmm. Yep. Everyone at some point wonders what it's like to be a movie star. And you still don't know what it, that's like. You're just a humble road tripper trespassing on a movie set. Mm. But this might be the closest you ever get to Hollywood, so make the most of it now. What do you do? Hmm. Get an autograph. We get an autograph. Uh, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You heard the cool Josh, the famous actor and singer songwriter. Josh is champion. here? Skateboarder prodigy and top 10 chess grand. Josh, Josh, Josh Wallstormer? Yeah, yeah get Wallstormer's up Intel in here. Yeah. Yep. Your friends obviously need to get his autograph. You sneak on the set and find his trailer next to some bushes. Psst. Over here. Uh, can anyone else hear the bush talking? I'm no bush. Oh, You've just him. fallen prey to my clever disguise. As the youth say, <laughs> I'm Gene Parmesan. What? <laughs> Get wrecked. I love what? him. <laughs> Look at that face. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Oh, hey, Counselor Fodge. Uh, I didn't know you worked here. I don't. There's actually a warrant out for my arrest for breaking and entering onto the set. But those cups are no match for my costume kit. Nice. Nice. We stuck on set because we heard cool Josh was filming here. So cool. And I'm going to get him to sign my bra. Well, good luck with that, kiddo. I've been trying to show Cool Josh my screenplay all week. It's an autobiographical documentary called Hidden in Plain Sight. And Cool Josh is the only actor who can capture me on screen. Maybe a few kids can get Cool Josh out of his trailer. We'll get this project off the ground. Well, you do have a vested interest in meeting Cool Josh and finding a way to get to his trailer. Maybe it's not about getting the actor outside the RV, but about getting yourself inside the actor. Inside of his head. That's perf. gotta be mine. Talk to him. Intensely. Or lure him out with an Academy Award. Well, we know we're gaining hype, right? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that mm. first one has to be mine, right? This is probably yeah. losing money, I would assume. Yeah, that's probably money as well. It's money. I think... Magic. Gosh. Talk we have more mind than money. Intensely. Yeah. Might be mind. Or yeah, might be stamina. stamina. Or yeah, soul. let's do that one. Let's yeah. do that one. You knock on the door of Cool Josh's trailer. He yells from inside. Oh my god, Cool Josh is so cool! Someone be cool Is Josh. that you, Cameron? Go away. <laughs> 
Actually, it's Polly Geist. I'm one fan favorite to another. I think we should hang out. What do you say? Want to come out and meet us? No, I'm staying right here inside my trailer. You say you're staying inside your trailer, but have you ever thought that maybe you're actually already outside and we're the ones inside? No. Oh. Okay, but like, would that be fucked up or what? Uh, you're persistent. Look, I really can't come out now, okay? I don't want to explain why. It's embarrassing. Um, come hmm. on, bro. You can talk to us. We're just like you. Oh, only not rich and famous. What's, hi what's holding you back? Fine. I can't go outside because... I don't know how to open this trailer door. There, I said it. <laughs> then you know the truth. Can't you let me out, please? I've had to shit for like an hour now. <laughs> Polly opens the door and you bask in the glorious presence of cool Josh himself. Wow. So cool. So cool. <sighs> Thank you. Now that, uh, what's this about a sign, bro? <laughs> you and your friends and cool Josh get croissants together. Croissants. You must be mine, but you get the hype circles. 27, oh, we're at it. Now we just need to not lose hype. Not lose hype. All right. Oh, so LARP. LARP. <laughs> or futuristic gas station. Mm. So uh, stamina is the one we want to lose the most, or magic. I want a LARP. Okay. You'll never believe what I heard about that oh. cactus. Hi, Octopimp. Oh, hey! hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> so wait, if we go to our, our um, travel catalog. Yes. Mm. Oh, okay. We're there. We, but We're I think there. we have to pick it at the next stop. At the end is what week. I'm okay. guessing. Yeah. Wow, this LARP is crawling with humans. Real, actual humans. That's weird. That's weird. This must be one of those areas where the dimensional fabric between the human and monster realms is starting to tear. Mm. Strangely, the humans aren't screaming or grabbing pitchforks, which goes against all you know about their thoughts on monsters. Stay still, They must uh, think your fellow humans dress up as LARP. Fine by you. You ignore their bliss. Could we get a shout out for Octopus, please? <laughs> <laughs> get a shout out. Get a shout out going. Yes. Definitely. Go and follow him. Yeah. I haven't. Another Yakuza I, fan. I yes. think they just finished up doing their run of Monster oh, oh, did you? But yeah, with uh, Jesse and Dodger. If, cool. I, no. if I saw the tweets correctly. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And what what voice were you again, Octopin? Would you remind us? I thought he was the narrator? No? Yes? I can't remember. Um, we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, since you're here, what LARP activity are you interested in trying? Oh, wow. Oz, Liam, Moss Man, and Noodles. Oh! Oz is, I love Oz so much. PVP sounds like stamina. PVP. <laughs> it has to be, right? It has to be. We just need to not lose hype. Yeah. GM sounds like mind. NPC is probably lose hype, right? Because you're gonna yeah. be bored. Well, yeah, I guess yeah, we yeah, won't yeah. know what's losing until we get Let's to our final two options. Let's do PVP. We won't know either. Yeah. Let's do PVP. Also, Scott looks so cute right now. All right, we're PVP in it. You're the liar working at the courage to order a whole leg of mutton where Scott runs up to you excitedly. Polly, Polly, listen. Oh my, oh my god, god, they're so cute. Polly, the LARP organizers said that they're doing a scavenger hunt. Whoever finds the one bracelet to rule most things wins a prize. We are getting that bracelet then. What's the first clue? Intrepid travelers, search for the bracelet if you dare. Your first clue is that your prize is over there. Look at Scott, where's pointing, and you see the one bracelet to rule most things literally sitting on a pedestal. Sweet. You rest to grab it, but the punk ass human grabs it at the same time. It's too late, villains! Wait, come on! We found the bracelet first! I invoke your the honor today! Yeah. That's only you and Price <laughs> <laughs> fair and square! That is Anna back there. There's okay, a back there. Anna. I invoke finders, keepers, losers, weepers! We saw the bracelet first, so back the fuck up! Fine! If you won't stand down, we'll settle this the old fashioned way with violence! Do we have to use violence? Could I try making a seduction song? Okay. Oh, this Anna? is Anna. Oh, God damn it. Is Anna. God damn it. Why do you got to read me like this game? I'm sorry, but I don't want to fight a bunch of humans. I could hurt you. Your, your skulls are so fragile. Oh, who wants to be Bowie? Uh, oh. Uh, uh, who are you calling human? I'm obviously a vampire. I've got razor sharp fangs and uh, an aloof or uh, anti-heroic aura. Yeah, but when your razor sharp fangs are obviously plastic replicas from Party Town, mm -hmm. it kind of takes the oomph out of it. No more talking! Combat has begun! We've chosen our champion. Who will be yours? The sassy alchemist or the buff end? The buff end. <laughs> Who knows? We don't make decisions. Ask Jazz. Oh, shit. Uh, Polly the Pushmaker. Uh, Brett Thigger, the Harbinger of Chaos. Scott the Good Boy. He has a good a intention. Good boy. Apples, maybe? <laughs> I like Scott. I want to pick Scott. Food is food. probably stamina. Yeah, food is stamina. stamina. 
chaos. And I, I don't well, think maker has got to be magic, right? Yeah, and yeah. I don't think either of these would lose us high. Well, I mean, we don't know. We don't know. I'm, I'm going to go we with really Scott, because I like okay. Scott. Scott's the good boy. He's got apples. He's got apples. Maybe. <laughs> Woohoo! Take me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Scott win <laughs> with the power of love and a well balanced diet. We're gonna lose. Tremble, diet. evil evil doer, before my song of despair. The bard plays a melody. The only despairing thing about it is how untuned. <laughs> Listen, I don't know how to play a lute. Nice song. I can sing one. Like uh, like now. How much is that dog in the window? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Stop that. She's playing a song of despair. The rules say you're supposed to fall into a nightmarish sleep. Aww. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to break the rules. I'll be a good boy next time. <laughs> uh, but just out of curiosity, do you know any songs that aren't about despair? Um, I do, actually. No one ever lets me play what I want to play. Anyway, here's <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> There it is! Oh, there it is! Stop. That song is completely wrong for this medieval fantasy setting. You're, uh, and you're supposed to be kicking your foe's ass, not serenading him. But all we ever do is fight people. I'm tired of it. This is Anna in D&D. Just I've... like, let's seduce our way out of it. <laughs> listen, 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 truth. listen. <laughs> I became a bard to end suffering with art and to get laid. You guys never let me get laid. This is Anna for Anna. Yeah, let's not fight. Good boys don't fight. Maybe we can just share some apples and have a song fight instead of a fight fight. Yes, battle the bands. Scott and the Bard play more music and you gain three soul. Okay. Uh, yes. Losing three stamina. Nice. Come on. All, All right. right. Okay. Okay. Right. Get us home. Okay. I love that we immediately found Anna in this no game. No high blues. Okay. So that. Uh, so loss of mind and loss of soul. <laughs> okay. Border of a one person country. <laughs> Caves. Uh, we gain money and gain soul. So well, what we, can we need lose? Soul. We could lose stamina and be fine. No, right? no, we want to keep stamina because we we're only we at can five. Lose soul soul or and magic. magic is what we want to yeah. lose. So we, that one has uh, that one has magic down and soul down, right? Up this is that's mine down. Oh, it's mine down. So well, it has soul down though. It has soul down, so we could definitely do that one. Okay, well, let's do that one. Yeah. Look, horses. You'll never believe what I heard about those horses. <laughs> I'm, cu I'm curious, actually. What did you hear about those horses? They always vote nay. <laughs> <laughs> you had no idea there was another country out here in the middle of the desert. This is a geoguesser. Of course, geographer. <laughs> geography was... I almost said geoguesser. <laughs> geoguesser was never <laughs> nice. your strong suit, Anna. Or maybe the situation is new. <laughs> what the Whatever the case, you're hella curious to check out this place. So what do you do when you cross the border? Oh, this little guy. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, uh, so we want to smuggle something out because yeah. that will we'll lower soul. our soul. Yep. Of course. Is that? Yes. Yeah. Yep, that's what yeah, we yeah, want. Yeah, okay. okay. This country is little more than a cottage in a small field. You knock on the door. Uh, howdy, tourists. Welcome to my personal country. I love him so much. <laughs> it really is. Wow, you have your own country? What's it called? Europe. <laughs> oh, uh, what? Isn't Europe already the name of a continent? So what? Citizens of the United States call themselves Americans, even though North and South America are continents. Not Facts. wrong. Yep. Facts. If people think that's normal, then fuck it. This is <laughs> Europe, and people who live here are called Europeans. <laughs> Besides, mine is the superior Europe. We've got no taxes, we decriminalize murder via piano wire, Wednesdays have been abolished, <laughs> and we make one-of-a-kind products you can't find anywhere else on Earth. Awesome, bro! That sounds awesome! Can we have one? No, it's illegal to bring these products over the border. He's sharp, he's on angry eyes. <laughs> oh, is that the what border? he's doing? I didn't yes. even realize. <laughs> you mean that lawn drying in the sand over there? That's the one. <laughs> right, okay, so what if happens if we do smuggle something out? You don't want to know. You watch Needle slowly pull some piano wire. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> Come on, Egg. Don't pussy out on me now. We gotta smuggle something out. It'd be great. Pick something to take. Oh. Okay, the blue, the blueprints of propriety, market disrupting phone technology. That's gotta be money. The key to immortality, okay. magic oh. noodles, an action, action figure. figure of the national hero, valiant buff noodles you can't buy anywhere else. Oh, wow. I know. What does your heart tell you? Um, <clears throat> I wonder if can't... these are items that we actually get to hang on to. Yeah. Because we're only going to lose soul, right? Yeah, yeah. we're going to lose yeah. soul. Yeah. It's, uh, but any of these what, is a plus. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But what do we... What do you think? We, I don't think any of them are hype unless it's noodles. I think noodles is the only one that has a chance of being hype, but it so, doesn't matter. We're so not going to lose it. We could get more hype if we wanted to like really protect it, but I think I'll... also maybe getting mind or money. Yeah, this is probably mind. This is... No, I think the one left is money. 
Oh, you think this is proprietary market disrupting phone oh, technology, yeah, yeah. right? Disrupting the market. Well, maybe it's. I not. thought maybe it's. I mind. thought this is soul. Um, I thought that would be, no, magic. It's gotta be magic. magic. Oh, you're right. You're right. This has to be magic. Oh, you know what? I wonder. Hmm. Uh, whatever. I, mean, I want. Pick. I want. So the they're colors. Figure. I think the colors matter. That's money because it's maybe you can't buy it anywhere else. Yeah, magic. yeah. That's magic. The purple one, oh. and then that is blue. So it would be hype. Oh, maybe. yeah. Maybe right. not. Nah, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't well, know. Let's, let's, I want the action figure. Go Look how buffy right, is. All right. <clears throat> okay, good choice. We need to smuggle it out somehow, though. <laughs> oh, I know. Egg, stick it up your butt. <laughs> that sounds painful as hell. It's not like Noodles has a customs office or a metal detector. Can't I just put it in my pocket? No, silly. This is how you have to smuggle stuff. It's tradition. Now, open that booty hole wide. <laughs> Fine, you sneak out Europe with the Valiant Buff Noodles action stuff a figure in your ass, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> Yay! Our own Valiant Buff Noodles. The box says it comes with dozens of fun voice lines to make you forget the crushing weight of being alive. Scott pulls the Valiant Buff Noodles uh, pull string. You would have washed it off first if you were him, <laughs> but whatever. Gross. Hi, I'm the Valiant Buff Noodles. Says Hello. the doll. Hi, Noodles! <laughs> Existence is pain. <laughs> wow, it really sounds just like him. All hail noodles, Europe. It has the most pizza and no dirty communists. Oh my gosh. Uh, what does fire taste like? Like some and find out. <laughs> okay, hey, we'll go lighter. You know what? That's enough valiant buff noodles. Polly throws the action figure out of the car window. Guess what was fun while it lasted? You lost three souls stealing from noodles, uh, Europe. But hi, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Sure. Right. Yeah, we got all the hype. Yeah, we there. Okay, so now we probably get to pick our destination, I'm assuming? Ugh, so many choices. Um, I assume so. Like... Does it still go five weeks, or do we I'm automatically go, go there? I think it said Sometimes that once we... Yeah. Um, okay, then send me to... The bus stop? Do I get, I get to have a conversation with Mossman there, right? Yeah, I like, think so. Yeah. Or there. just a random, because I think it'll change every week. The the. Well, it said that you can pick up a new hi hitchhiker, but I think it also said you can have a conversation mm -hmm. with the hitchhiker. So I'll go yeah. back to the car. Okay. So I'm gonna go options. hang out with Polly. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Such peace. All right. This time I'm gonna be cautious. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's one high. Exactly. And the other ones is a little bit scary. Yeah. So yeah. Let's good call. See what comfiest spot is. Ooh, all money. All money. Wow. Um, soul. What, what are we, what's we the need lowest? Mind. mind is our lowest. So do we want to do this one? Gosh, money, money, That's money soul. is funny. Um, Wealthy mansion. Yeah, we won't be able to money. see which ones they are, exactly. so it's not like it's really worth doing we'll that. We'll gain money no matter what we do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but we might lose hype. I guess we, there's no We way. can pick between them like and like be like, okay, yeah. what do we think we're going to lose? And if we lose hype, we got plenty Honestly, of Yeah, lose. we got plenty of hype. Yeah. We have four, and we're only uh, because... Oh, wait, no, because you're going to get the buff, so it is still going to be three and three. Mm -hmm. So... That's scary. What do we want to do here? I mean, soul or money both work. Yeah, soul or money both right, Or we'll stamina. Money. All three yeah. work, really. Polly. After some conversation, you activate a deep conversation. This is your first one. Oh. Deep conversation can end in success or failure, and uh -oh. they are the key to scoring a date. Hitchhikers will have one deep conversation with each, while Polly and Scott have two. So once a player succeeds a deep conversation, sometimes even if they fail at it, no other player can attempt it. Act fast, because whoever gets there first will be the only one with the chance of finding love. Uh, how do these work, though? During the first half of Deep Conversation, your monster friend will hint at their preferences on the topic that's ah. important to them. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone pay attention for me. When looking at these options, search for ways in which they break the rules. Two of the three will break the rules somehow. Hmm. Okay. One that breaks the rules is the right option with no wow. breaks. One that, that breaks no rules is the right option. So choose that one and show your friend you really know it. You understand. That. Gotcha. So make, pick the one that gets to all of their preferences. Am I a good listener? Uh-oh. I am, mostly. Kinks. 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 Oh, uh, Kinks? Naughty. You're naughty, aren't you? Oh, sorry. Oh, I mean, sorry if I was overstepping. Nah, I'm game. If you want to know about my kinks, so be it. That's interesting. Do tell. <laughs> As a general rule, I'm quite open to trying new stuff. You only live twice, so you gotta explore the vast lands of sex in all its majesty. <laughs> mm -hmm. But after some, okay, many sexcapades, I've learned a thing or two about kinks. Like, messy stuff is all fun in games until you realize you need to clean up afterwards. And which of the three of you is going to mop up all that guac? Not me. Aww. Or the opposite. There's some sexy stuff that requires tons of prep, and that can be annoying. Like, yeah, 
this or that sounds great on paper until you get into it and see you need a fucking PhD to do it right. I know I'm making it seem like I'm picky, but believe me, hun, I'm not. I've cleaned up the guac, I've gotten the PhD, you gotta try stuff. But then, over time, you learn a thing or two. Better not break the law unless you break the laws of thermodynamics. Glue is not a replacement for lube. <laughs> And never involve bees. Oh, boy. <laughs> Duly noted. <gasps> but enough about me. Let's talk about you. Or even better, let's talk about us. Aww. Ooh. Like, just for funsies, let's hypothetically say you and I, you know, slap the salmon, oh stuff God. the taco, <laughs> do the no pants dance. Mm -hmm. What would you want to do? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. It's time to play it cool, but you put your head and you're spinning like someone's trying to exercise you. It's true. Try thinking of something quick. Role play. Is that okay? Is that your only option? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, you're option. gonna pick role play something. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. That could work for me, but don't play it safe, Boo. I want the specifics. What would be role playing as? I want to hear it all. What do you role play? Go for it, champ. Nothing messy. <laughs> nothing messy and nothing too difficult. You'll be <sighs> sexy general, and probably will be an entire fortress if you take it under siege. Swarm would be one with strength, but with endurance. You'd be the chef. Probably be the pizza. Get ready to knees her dough. No, that's messy. Wait, you've roleplayed before. Just use two characters from past campaigns elsewhere. Else with Valiant Heir to Kingdom of Mouse Lord Tide Vault breeding their thief for the grim dark past. I feel like which is gonna be more prep? A general? Exactly. That's an entire fortress, right? But so. it's metaphorical that Polly is a fortress, right? Whereas that one you do need Yeah. All these characters from before? Yeah, and yeah. that would have to know a lot of like you have to know the the characters. But then again, it says just use two characters from the past. So that's actually like not a lot of prep. Yeah, that's a weird. It's a tricky one. Polly will be an entire oh, force. But that, that's endurance. So doesn't that mean it'll take a long time? But this war won't be one with strength, but with endurance. It's tricky. It's, it's tr it is really tricky because both of them. It's the first or the last. It's the first or the last. Turns out it's pizza all along. <laughs> yeah, pizza all the way down. Yeah, yeah, it's really. I'm, I'm legitimately well, okay, stuck. Well, you'll be the chef. Paul, you'll be the pizza. That does imply that yeah, it's gonna get messy. messy. Yeah, that's um, messy. I feel like if knocking it's, over a fortress is messy. I know. I feel like, but with the role play with mm -hmm. the characters from the past campaigns, it's gonna be like you have to know D and D rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you'd have to like learn all the rules. So I think that's gotcha. gonna take a lot more prep. So that might be yeah. minus and, one, maybe. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we'll go sexy general. All right. Okay. Let's see it. It's hard. Okay. Okay. Kinky. Like, I've role played as many things, but a whole fo fortress? That's a first for me. There's plenty of room to improvise different tactics to enter me. Oh my gosh. You can even call for reinforcements <laughs> if we feel like sure. it. Oh my gosh. Uh, um, sure. And you know what? I have the perfect engine for this kind of siege. It's one of my toys, a very strong one. I call it my little battering ram. Wow, <laughs> wow that sounds appropriate at the very least. Dang, sorry, look at me. We were just doing a harmless thought experiment, and here I am getting too into it. <laughs> I know I can get a 10 sometimes. Sorry, Boo. Like you won't see me complaining. Nailed it. Yes! Nailed it. We had to talk it through. you'd like to do to batter and ram. <laughs> yes! Oh, man, well done. I that did was the right it. one. That was the right one. What's our strategy here? All right, so Jazz, or this no, is, this is Price. This is Price. Talk oh, to Moss. Uh, talk to Moss. Talk okay. to Moss. Um, about uh, Cryptid Academy, of course. Ah, Cryptid, the Cryptid Academy. Academy was such a delightful experience. I majored in history with a focus on oral history. <laughs> my first steps into my current PhD thesis on gossip and into my appreciation for oral, too. Oh my <laughs> god, we knew that. What? Hmm. <laughs> oh, nothing, just a juvenile joke. A bit crass, but I couldn't let it pass. I had no idea you did majors in Cryptid Academy. Well, it's the normal thing, my friend. If anything, when I heard about your school, I was highly confused. Why do you call it Spooky High? You're in your 20s. Like, did you get high schools and universities all mixed up? Yeah, so our school is modeled after a human documentary about their education system. It's oh called my Saved by the Bell. <laughs> it depicts humans in their 20s attending high school, so we figured out high school is something you do at that age. The documentary teaches high school isn't even about the curriculum, it's about friendship, living wacky misadventures, and finding love. Oh my god. Plot twist, it turns out it's not a documentary, but a very inaccurate TV show. Long story short, recently the school learned about this, and now it's going through a whole rebranding. 
Um, now it goes by Spooky Academy. Oh, that's a first step, but this Spooky Academy this should be more like a university with majors and such. Uh, so, no prom? Gotta have prom. No, you can totally keep prom. Prom is the pillar of any education system. In any case, it beats me how no one complained before. Some of you are even undead, like you used to be human. Shouldn't you know better? I don't know. This realm makes so little actual sense that you learn to just go with whatever. Oh, on that, my friend, we totally agree. What a strange, beautiful place this realm is. You stay up all night comparing your own prom experiences. Cryptid prom sounds as cool as monster prom and equally daunting. Nice. Cryptid cool. vibes. Uh, Cryptids are all about inexplicable mysteries and why oh, they're Oh, this is when week. you get the random. Oh, okay. Okay. So okay. you have to talk to them to get this. Okay. okay. All right. So that's the passive. Got it. All right. That's scary. <gasps> that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How have about fun a knife land? Ten percent off admission to knife land. So. Oh, <gasps> knife we did. Okay. <gasps> oh, it's like Spatula Let's City. Let's go on into Knife Land. <laughs> no, no, Mickey. Mickey will murder us. No, well, these knives will murder us for sure. Oh, well, yeah, I'd rather DMCAs. be murdered by Knife Land than Mickey. Yeah. Knife Land, the land of fun and knives. <laughs> you ride all the rides twice. Oh, yeah. They're awesome and deadly and equal parts. <gasps> oh, there's Murder Mansion oh, with so actual cute. murder. Aww. There's not one, but two free falls. Ooh. There's a pit full of spikes in the guillotine free fall, which lets you keep a severed head as a <gasps> memento. Cute. There's also a blender, the pendulum, and a volcano. <laughs> You're still unsure about the volcano was supposed to be a ride, or if it was just a random volcano that happens to be there. <laughs> so much fun. You even managed to survive, which is a big plus. Knife land forever. Knife land forever. That, that wasn't, wasn't all. all. Congrats, you reached the destination. Yay! There's more to it. Every player gets an individual ending. Oh. You could end up being a silly loser or just okay or the MVP. Ooh. The multiplayer mode, the results are determined based on how much you each contributed oh. to the resource needed to reach oh. the destination. Oh! The single player so mode, the overall Who did the most high? Spent. There's also date ending, which has its own requirements. And I but got ending that. up as silly loser over the date ending, no dates allowed for Oh, losers. no! Okay. Anyways, let's judge you. Hope you're not last, Anna. Ash? I hope not. Oh. Before getting to Knife Land, you make a quick stop. There is a clause in the road trip contract that establishes a uh, silly loser must be designated democ or democratically by the group. This is very necessarily because of the reasons. You defend your case by reminding everyone that you've been lifted the road trip morale with your hilarious knock knock jokes. Everyone looks at each other uncomfortably in the most awkward of silences. Oh Could it no! Be your knock jokes were oh, no! no. The fact that you end up with the dunce hat as uh, punishment for being the loser speaks for itself. Okay. Knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? A loser. Wow! Winky ah, face. Wow. Knife land, here we go. As you and your friends run excitedly to the entrance, you look back at Pauline Scott. How lucky you are for those two you thought of when you're planning this road trip. You think of all the fantastic adventures you had together, the new friends you made, the unforgettable moments you've experienced, and it's all thanks to single text asking you to join them. Huh. Okay. Oh, it's nice that they were uh, envisioning such an epic journey. Polly and Scott thought you were a key element to this. Oh, it's so cute. cute. It's the sweetness in realizing your friends think of you and you want to be a part of their most memorable moments. Life is good. Cute. Knife Land can really wait. You mean you're having quite a conversation with Polly? Oh, <gasps> mm, feathers. Ooh. Yeah, tickle sex is weird, but a lady must try everything at least once in the afterlife. A penguin mask? Oh, this is the... Oh. <laughs> I forget what it's called. I'm joking. I'm joking, but it's hard to think of anything that catches you off guard, girl. You betcha! You munch on the pizza you two are sharing while you play this little game in the car. I know. A globe. Just one? I've had sex using all sorts of gloves. Wait, did I say globe or gloves? I don't gloves. know. I don't remember. Yeah. Winter gloves, construction gloves, mittens? No, no. A globe with a B. Ah, yes, definitely. And you'll never guess how that went. Let me tell you. <laughs> she leans into you, whispers into your ear. Her warm breath tickles your ear. Ooh. You're alone, just the two of you. She doesn't need to whisper anymore. Maybe she's flirting? No, you're just imagining things. <coughs> when she finishes, you almost choke on your pizza. Fuck, that story was strange, yet incredibly <laughs> provocative. Okay, I give up. She looks at you for a hot second at such intensity that, dang, we should use protection before looking at someone like that. <laughs> Let me think. Something that has never played a part in any wild poly night. Hmm. Pizza. <laughs> you should have picked the pizza. In <laughs> now you've definitely choked because uh, she places a hand by your thigh. <gasps> Still holding that look. Really? 
Nah, boo. Been there, done that. Let me show you. <laughs> so it's closer to initiate what is bound to be a very long night. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Pizza time. Let's go. Knife land. Yay. You have the best fucking time in the land of fun of knives. Knives. But just having fun isn't enough for you, no. no. You must con conquer knife land. Yes. And how do you conquer a theme park? Easily by taking the coolest picture of a ride. You choose the ride slash and splash. Oh yes. He wants to unleash fun. your arcane godly power. <laughs> 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 You make reality 3% cooler, although no one may ever notice. But it definitely makes you the pick the coolest at uh, makes your, your pick, pick the, coolest, the coolest pick. The whole theme park. You even invite some of your former cultists to join you on your ride. Nice. nice. What's up, guys? Reverend you is to cool and all of that, but I think it's time they learn to revere fun. Nice. Cute. Woo -hoo. Hey, oh. I did it. Oh, nice. Nice. Four, five, six. I mean, we're all I, close. I was tied with Jazz. Yeah, but okay. yeah. Jazz was cooler. That was cooler. <laughs> hey. Oh. Awesome. Oh, and then. Interesting. What's the destinations oh. thing? We, oh, oh, there's three different destinations Whoa, for each. Oh, that's oh, cool. For that. Whoa, so how many destinations is that? Uh, to that's a lot. 18? 18 different yeah. destinations. Oh my god, crap. the amount of writing in this game. Secret stuff, too. Yeah. yeah. Right? That's a lot. That's they always, so many. They always sneak a whole ton of stuff into these games. It's so worth replaying them over yeah. and over again. And just like that, the road trip came to an end. It was full to the brim, the danger of fun, and utter nonsense. It was everything we could have expected from a road trip with Polly and Scott. And then some. We not only survived the whole thing, but we conquered it and came out different people. It all turned out to be a pilgrimage into self-discovery, a <sighs> rite of passage, a quest for growth. So that is to say, a fucking good road trip. As we were heading back to home, I thought about how all of this was just one of our first stops in a much bigger journey that is only just the beginning. Let's oh, go. Yeah. Oh, this is the cutscene, which Gosh, it. has different music if you're playing the normal version. We're playing the streamer oh, version. Oh, this is mm -hmm. so cute. Which has a different song. It's so cute. Um, oh, that's... Anna and Polly. Yeah. I didn't realize. We wow. did. <gasps> oh. Like fully animated. This is great. So this was in the trailer um, that I saw that was on Twitter recently. Gotcha. Cute. Oh. That's awesome. Um, I'm <laughs> curious with the different <laughs> endings for each stat, mm -hmm. if maybe if each stat has an ending, if you were to lose all of that point and get a oh, bad ending. Oh, bad ending, maybe. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, Damien. Oh my god, that yes, unicorn. Yes, I remember. I think the unicorn is in the last one. Oh my god. These gosh. characters are wonderful. Oh my gosh. Liam. So many characters to be seen. Love oh, you, hey, Liam. you're hanging with Liam. Look at me. Look I'm at too you. cool. Look at you hanging. Too cool. Cute Just boys. two boys two hanging cool. out. Shouldn't be listening to headphones while you're driving. Yes, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's a, this is a different world. Oh, the wigs. <gasps> Stole all them wigs. <laughs> <laughs> Hot, Hot dogs. dogs. Yes. Oh my god, the ah. fish. Incredible. This is so cute. This is so this is cute. Adorable. So this is definitely the streamer mode, oh, right? Brain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a real song. <gasps> like a <full> <gasps> Look at that dog. Look at the goblin wizard. Oh, they're so cute. Vera. Aww. So cute, y'all. So cute. The so cute. Oh my Noodle. 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 Oh, Chris. Right. Well, I didn't know Chris yeah. Wolf worked on this game. I love Chris. Was oh, that Coach? Mm -hmm. I think that was Coach. Oh Whoa. my god! So cool. So cute. Adorable. Oh my god! I love. Oh, those are the, the ghosts. The, the art is so cute. I was just saying they had to make so many unique assets for all the yeah. Polaroids in the game that I yeah. bet that they provided this animation studio with all of those unique assets to yeah. animate mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. That's so great. The animation is so cool. These are really great. Yeah. It said thanks to Evangelion at the very end. Oh my Did god. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, Liam is so cute. I love Liam. Aww. 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 So cute. cute. All right, y'all. Well, I think that's where we're going to wrap up. Monster Road Trip. Oh, it's so cute. I oh, hope y'all enjoyed. I actually really like the new structure of this game. Mm -hmm. It's kind of Damn like... It. I feel like we got particularly lucky in this run because we beat it in three weeks, which feels feels like we, we, we managed to speed that pretty yeah, well. Yeah, we, we jammed that, yeah. Um, well, also, I really like how they had the, the, the talk show, the... Explain the radio the show yeah, that, that yeah. helps a lot because I feel like in the first two Monster Proms, like I guess. never yeah. knew. I was like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. See you, Monster Prom Four in space. In space. 
Everything's going to space. Mm-hmm. Overcooked. <laughs> Monster prom. Planets on fire. Um. Oh. I love Scott. Scott's the best. Scott is the best. <laughs> um. Paul is the best. Anyway, yeah, I do like the structure of this new game, and I'm curious to see what some of the other endings are. Mm-hmm. Um. And yeah, I do like think that this run that we just did was particularly like it still took us an hour and 45 minutes to do this run. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we were particularly lucky in getting as much hype as we were generating. Mm -hmm. Ah, the prank master mode. We can do that. Curious what it is. I'm just going to click it quickly click on it um, because I want to see one player. Um, See the uh, description. Description. Add some cutthroat mechanics and decide yes. who's the MVP. Beautiful glitch declines responsibility for broken relationships. God. So yeah, you can you can sabotage each other. Like oh maybe my God, steal, yeah. Steal like that. in that particular run, we could maybe be like, oh, you you were generating the most hype. I'm going to steal some of those points away. Yeah, from you. maybe something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. Um. All right, y'all. Well, that's where we're going to uh, end it on this first run of Monster Road Trip. Let's know down in those comments below if you want to see us do some more runs. And if you haven't seen our past runs on the Monster Prom games, be sure to check those out as well. With that, we're going to move on. Woo!